Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you guys doing today? I hope you all are having a great day. We are here um, doing a lot of running around on a Saturday afternoon like I'm sure you guys are doing. Um, right now, I am on a, a mission or a hunt for this ingredient, uh, which is a purple bell pepper. Um, heard so much about this bell pepper, heard about its nutritional values off the chain, heard that it's tasty and mild. So um, they're called purple bell peppers. You all may um, have seen them. Um, some people call them black bell peppers. And um, just by shopping, I, they're not carried in every grocery store. So we're going to the store that's really known to have uh, kind of, you know, unique and unusual uh, fruits, vegetables, meats, all kind of things. It's called Central Market. Uh, getting some gas. What are y'all gas prices like where you all are? You need your wallet, babe? You forgot your, oh lord. Hubby is riding dirty on camera. Hold on guys, I'll be back. Okay, so we're now at Central Market and look here, they got the white cheddar organic white cheddar popcorn. Hmm. Wow. And one cup is 150 calories. What they don't have organic? It's like everything is organic. What's this, Waikia? I don't know, but it is volcanic water. Hawaiian volcanic water. Wow. I wonder who went in the volcano and got this out. What'd they say, Mom? They have them, but they look they're very small. You thought they were going to be bigger? Yeah, the ones I saw much okay. bigger, but they have them. Division on picture, but tiny, and they're organic. So, okay, that's good. Okay, so we have the purple bell pepper. Uh, they had it just like I said. Well, like the uh, guy in the produce department told me. However, they're so small. And I guess it's because, I don't know, we could say something about that because they're organic, they're small. Um, but my whole thing that what I was going to do was stuff the bell peppers. So since I am not able to stuff them, they're so small, I guess I'll try them out on a homemade pizza. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, guys. Good morning, you two. How are you guys doing this morning? I am out on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Today is what, the 23rd? The 23rd of July. And I was just telling hubby, he's driving over there. I was just telling hubby that, you know, we've been having a pretty good summer here in uh, Texas. It's not that, um, it's really not that hot and that's very unusual. You know, we usually have them sweltering heat, heated summers, but it's really, really nice. And uh, right now it is 90 degrees, but it's not a hot, hot 90. Yeah, usually it's 100. So, uh, this is part two of our purple bell pepper journey. Um, I did find the pur purple bell pepper that I was looking for uh, at a central market here, but I tell you that purple bell pepper almost looked like a plum. It was so small. Even the lady at the cash, you know, the cashier, she even said, oh, that is so cute. So I can't stuff or cook with that. Uh, we actually chopped it up and did, you know, I did season it with something, a, a salad or something we cooked with it. But I would love to find uh, a pretty nice size pe purple bell pepper. I'm not thinking I'm going to do that because most things like that are organic and a lot of our organic vegetables are small. So, I'm going to one more store which is uh, Whole Foods and see if I can find it there. Now, you know, I know you're all thinking why make a big thing of a purple bell pepper? Just get a green or red bell pepper and be satisfied. One thing since I've been on this uh, weight loss journey is also like a health journey to me because I'm just exploring when I hear about uh, certain fruits or vegetables 
um, I, I, and, you know, and, and I want to explore different types of fruits and vegetables. And I just ran across the purple bell pepper, uh, talking about all the health benefits it has. Um, just like okra. I eat okra. I love okra. Uh, I just was reading, um, I think I got it off of Facebook, just reading about all these benefits of okra. And I said, you know, I'm going to have to eat more of it. So anything I can do to try to fight to you know stay motivated and stay on my journey um that's what I'm gonna do um so I used to think that the weight loss would be a motivation enough for me and it is weight loss is a good motivation it feels good to see those pounds go down and but you know because I love food so much you know when you find yourself uh, that's how you find yourself slipping because you love food, you love to eat certain types of food. So I'm just going to try to explore more healthier foods and try to fall in love with those so it won't sabotage my diet, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, we're going to look for the purple bell pepper. Then Dad and I are coming home. We have a lot of things to do. He is off today. I'm so glad when he's home. Um, so that way, you know, we can spend the day together and we're going to do a few things around the house as well as just kind of like kick back and watch a movie that we've been trying to see so uh you all just stay tuned and hang in there with us and we're going to be searching for this purple bell pepper okay bye bye Just now leaving Whole Foods. Um, I found the purple bell pepper. Let me see where it is. And it's kind of like what I expected. It was not going to be that big because it's organic. So what you going to cook with? What you say, baby? What you going to cook with? What you going to do with it? He asked me what I'm going to do with it. I have an idea. Of course, anything this size, I can only season my food with. I can't, like, you know, I mean, I can season it. But I did get, um, I got two of them. So I'm gonna use it and cook it in something. I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I was telling hubby, what about maybe, you know, cooking them with some pork chops? So that's something I'm thinking about. So we're gonna stop by the grocery and get some pork chops. And that's what we're gonna try with this little guy. And um, make it work. But you know what I also thought about? Um, I told, I. I said, you know what? I think I could grow these myself. So, if I can even find the seeds, that's that's what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna grow them in my yard. I, um, like I said, this journey, that's what it does. It kind of takes you on all kind of little twists and turns of things and give you ideas. So, um, I, I think I can definitely grow them in my garden. And if I can find the seeds, I'm gonna grow them. Or I might just take them out the bell pepper. We'll see. Okay, guys. See y'all in a little bit. We actually went to Walmart and hubby was telling me, he said, you know, what's that the dollar movie? <laughs> so we looked it up on our phones and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been wanting to see After Earth. Um, I don't know what it's like. My, so we just had a change of plan and we're gonna go right quickly to see After Earth at the dollar movie. Okay, you two, we are at home and we are coming in from the movies. Come on, Dad. But before I get settled in, um, what I'm going to do, honey, put the groceries on the counter, please. Mm -hmm. He's smiling because he's the groceries guy. All day, give me groceries. Yeah, the groceries. All over time. So, before I get settled in, what I want to do is do a quick food haul with you guys. Um, and what I have here a purple a purple bell pepper and let's see I'm going to kind of zoom in let me zoom in 
Okay, guys, so I am so excited that I at least found some decent size purple bell peppers. So, there are our purple bell peppers. There we go. Now, we're going to see how we're going to cut these guys. I mean, how we're going to use these guys. I've already have an idea. Like I said, I'm going to do some nice, tasty uh, meatballs and spaghetti. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Wow, look at my daughter. She's just, she's studying. I know that's what she's doing. She's not over on Facebook or Tumblr. She's studying her schoolwork in college. We so proud of her. Love you, baby. Oh, uh, guys. Uh, turn it down a bit, Dad. We are just getting a little bit of uh, relaxation time in before we start dinner. Yeah, y'all have a feeling this is not enough time in the day. It just don't feel like it's enough time in the day. You know, um, mm -hmm. this is just a day. Heavy was off, and we got up and got ready to go out and look like we're back home. And we're back home at early time. Yeah, but it's day halfway gone. Yeah, right? it's three thirty-one. So right now, like I said, we're gonna just relax for a moment um, before we start dinner. And we just saw something kind of interesting. I had recorded it, and I'm look. We just looked at it. What is it? The ninety. 90-day rule. <laughs> the 90-day uh, rule. <laughs> it was, uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all saw Oprah Life Class with uh, Oprah Winfrey and uh, I, was Ayanna Van Zandt. Um, and they're giving uh, expert advice. Uh, they're giving advice on, uh, and they did have some uh, some doctors or something there also, but they were giving um, ladies advice um, regarding you know the 90-day before you actually get intimate, wait 90 days. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because I'm, of course, married. I haven't always been married. I'm a single woman. You know, you sing before you're married. We all know that. But the reason why I, it kind of like, I'm listening and iterate because, you know, I have five daughters and my daughter's ages are 16 to 25. So, you know, um, and uh, I just kind of listen to what, the, what I know I tell them as their mother. And we, all of us mothers are different, how, you know, how we want to uh, instruct our daughters. But I'm listening how I tell my girls different and from, you know, a lot of things what I see that I see on television. Yes. So. And you can't use a calendar or a, a timer for something like that as far as I'm concerned. Character. It's mm -hmm. called the, the character of the person. I mean, I know people who got married who did what well, they, you know, just because, okay, you want to get married, let's get married. You want to do this, let's, let's move in, we'll get married. Yeah. But there was still no commitment because even though they are married, they are That's a piece seeing of what paper. they want to see, yeah. doing what they want to do. Right. And, you know, because the character of the person was not a person you want to, who considered himself or herself, mostly him. That they want to be married type. They're not going to be committed. They're not going to be devoted. And that, so that's the difference. I see. So 90 days might give you a chance to see the character. Yeah, that's but true. That's still not a That's time. what they probably would do. That 90 day rule will kind of give you a chance to see the, a glimpse of the person's character. Because, from my my opinion, you really don't know a true character yeah. person until you've seen them in all kinds of situations. So I mean, see them in a bad some situation. really bad, hard times. It's like that's um, when the truth comes out. Yeah. All right, we have now made it to the cooking, and what we got here is some ingredients for our um, spaghetti. Uh, we have a green bell pepper, and remember our purple bell peppers. So we're gonna put that in there and a nice yellow onion. So hubby is going to chop that up and um, honey don't forget to save the seeds off the purple bell pepper because I'm going to grow these myself guys. Um, save the seeds, dry them out, put them in the ground. Okay and I'm going to go ahead on and start our pasta. So you would need your your seasonings, um, your pasta, your, any type you like, spaghetti, whatever you want, green. 
Um, for your seasons, you're going to need a cup of breadcrumbs. You're going to need some seasonal. You're going to need um, about a half a cup of milk. And a fourth a cup of um, your grated Parmesan cheese. And this might come in handy, which is nothing but a ice cream scooper. So, let's get started. Hubby is now chopping the vegetables. And I'm going to be over here. I'm going to go out pasta.
chef just chopping away back there. Mm -hmm. So next is the um, milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk in. Just a little bit of dad's onions he have over here. Just a nice scoop of them. Let me get two scoops. Yep, and the rest we can freeze. So you're not gonna put anywhere else? we will be doing um, making our meatball, forming our meatballs. Okay guys, now I have already started on my meatballs and i um, just want to show you how I do them. The ice cream scooper, um, now I have one that's a half scoop so it's going to, you know, but I scoop up the meatballs like this in this ice cream scooper. Some of y'all may have the ones that you can actually scoop them up and just, you know, pop them out. So that's good if you have ice cream scoop, do that. But I just scoop them up, form the ball, and put them in the um, dish, the baking dish. I'm going to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. Um, well, I'll say for anywhere from 25 to 30, just depends. And um, take them out. But, yeah, you can scoop them in your ice cream scooper. Uh, they already will be formed for you, so you don't really have to do nothing but just a little molding. And that's all I do, just a little molding. And put them in the baking dish. I'll do one. Okay, guys. So here are our meatballs, and I think about three pounds of ground beef. It looks like I got about at least twenty. So we're gonna go home, put these in the oven for thirty minutes. Grab the dough from the pot. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make the sauce. Two jars, hopefully that's enough. Just 
just keep dumping you know, one to two jars in there. Then we're going to use Rotel tomatoes to give it a little flavor. Add the Rotel. One little trick. Add a little sugar just to cut the tartness. meatballs are ready and now it's all just about putting it together so um, I got my salt that I used to have here for the okay guys so now we're at the point we are going to layer it and um, I'm gonna add the meatballs them in have our meatballs in and we're going to add in our sauce. It's just mix it up. Just mix it real good. And while I'm mixing, I'm going to go ahead and put it on low, probably about uh, two or three. Just mix it up. Once you have it mixed real good, you want to just maybe let it simmer for about a good 10 minutes. Make sure the noodles are nice and the sauce is cooked down. Um, we can get ready after we cook it down for 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and plate it up. We'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is our finished product. Those purple bell peppers. We're going to see how they did with our Meatball nice and tender. Got a little taste here. 